If you think Photoshop's AI is just for text swaps, you're missing 90% of what it can do. These two new models, Nano Banana and Flux Context Pro, have elevated Photoshop into an even bigger AI powerhouse. And today I'm partnering with Photoshop to show you 10 use cases that'll speed up hours of editing. The great part, you still get Photoshop control, selections, layers, masks, but AI supercharges your toolkit. Now let's start with the use case that blew my mind first, changing the camera angle of a static image. So I have this generated image of me and I want some different angles to choose from. So what I'll do is hit Command A to select the entire image, then select Generative Fill. From there, I can come over to this Firefly logo and select either Gemini 2.5 Nano Banana or Flux Context Pro from the menu. Now, both have their strengths. Nano Banana is better for creative or full scene changes, while Flux Context Pro nails the precise stuff, like fonts and signage I found in my personal experiences. For the first one, I'll stick with Nano Banana and input a prompt describing the new camera angle I want here. For the detailed list of prompts I'll be using in this video, make sure to check the description below. Now I can just hit Generate, and here's what we got, a solid reverse shot of the same scene from the original image. And of course, you can still use Photoshop for those classic finishing touches, maybe a curves pass to match tones between angles or even a light color grade to keep everything cohesive. It's that blend of new AI tools and traditional Photoshop polish that really makes these workflows shine. It's that balance between precision and automation. It's what turns good edits into magic, fast, seamless, and intuitive. It's the kind of workflow that makes you forget how complex the tech actually is. Wild. So now that we've got this new camera angle generated, let's take it a step further. The same process, select the image, hit generative fill, and with Nano Banana again, we can restylize this entire photo any way we want. I'll input my anime inspired prompt, hit generate, and it completely builds the image in that stop. Same pose, same framing, but now it looks like a hand-painted anime still. Now, quickly before we move on, I think I'll just add a subtle saturation boost and tweak to really bring out those vibrant anime colors. That's the power of Nano Banana. You can transform one photo into an entirely new visual universe in a fraction of the time that it used to take. All right, now let's talk precision. So we've played around with the creative stuff, but sometimes you just need a clean, realistic touch, like a text swap inside your photo. That's where Flux Context Pro really shines. So I've got this restaurant image here, right? And the sign just says restaurant, born. Let's change that to something a little more personal. This time I'll use the rectangle marquee tool and select the area around the text that I wanna change. Then it's the same process as before. Hit generative fill, switch over to Flux Context Pro and type change text from restaurant to Justin's. Then hit generate and watch this. Perfect text swap, clean perspective and natural lighting. Now, just be careful because you will sometimes get this slight visible edge here, but we can fix that by selecting the eraser tool, lowering the hardness to zero and erasing the edge of the generation slightly. That's the beauty of Flux Context Pro. It understands fonts, reflections, shadows, even depth. So instead of regenerating the whole scene, it just fixes the exact detail you need. Game changer. All right, now let's go back to Nano Banana because this next one is where it really flexes. So let's say you've got a simple photo, maybe a quick phone shot of a product on your computer desk at home. Nothing fancy, just bad lighting and clutter in the background. And we can turn that into a polished final image. I'll select the whole image, hit generative fill and choose Nano Banana one more time. Then I'll just type something like studio lighting, sleek product photography, soft shadows, clean reflective surface. Hit generate and instantly it transforms your casual snapshot into a polished product photo. Now from there, I'll usually fine tune it like any traditional photo edit. Clean up edges, balance the exposure and make small color adjustments in Photoshop. It's a modern workflow that still builds on the fundamentals we've always used. How crazy is that? So for this next one, let's see how far we can actually push an environment. I've got this shot of a dinosaur standing in a forest. Looks great but let's see what happens when we start changing the time of day and season. All right, so again, same process, select the image, hit generative fill, and I'll stick with Nano Banana again, since it's great for lighting and atmosphere changes. I'll type in a quick prompt describing the new time of day I'm going for, hit generate, and instantly the whole scene transforms. New lighting direction, sun rays, color temperature. It feels like a completely different moment in time. Then I'll switch it up again with a different prompt, and now we're in the middle of winter. Whoa. Snow on the ground, colder tones, softer light, same composition, same dinosaur, totally new world. Now, I think I'll cool things down a bit with a classic color balance pass, pushing a little extra blue into the shadows to give the whole image an even colder feel. All right, let's switch it up and change the entire location. So I've got this selfie image here, nice pink sky, solid lighting, but let's see what happens when we move the scene somewhere completely different. 
First, I'll start with the fast method. Hit Command A to select the whole image, then generative fill and choose Nano Banana. From there, I'll describe the new scene I want with a detailed prompt and hit General. Now, sometimes this approach shifts the entire image slightly. It'll reposition you, which isn't always what you want. So if that does happen, here's another way. Click Select Subject, then hit Inverse Selection to grab only the background. That way you're telling Photoshop, hey, keep me exactly the same, just change what's behind me. Then enter your detailed prompt again, but make sure you include details that match your original lighting. If the base image was warm sunset light, describe that in your prompt to ensure you get a cohesive image edit with matching lighting and shadow. Once you hit generate, the result is a completely new backdrop. Same pose, same lighting, but it feels like a different shoot. Quick tip, if your image feels a little too perfect, adding a subtle layer of classic Photoshop grain can bring back that natural realistic texture. All right, now that we've changed the environment, let's look at something a little closer to home, adjusting outfits. So maybe you've got a photo of you you love, but you're wearing the wrong thing, or you just wanna see how a different style would look. This is where Nano Banana gets surprisingly good. Just make a clean general selection around the subject and their clothing. Then hit Generative Fill and choose Nano Banana once again. From here, it's all in the prompt. Now, these partner models are great at using simple plain language prompts, but again, you can take it to the next level with the right prompt format. Don't forget to check the description for the full list of prompts I used in this video. Next, hit Generate and Photoshop rebuilds the clothing with that description. It even matches shadows and fabric folds from the original image, which is insane. And here's a key tip, always describe the lighting to match your original photo. If your shot's in warm sunset light, mention that or the colors might feel off. Quick side note, having these new tools alongside Photoshop's classic controls means you can do things like use the quick selection tool to isolate part of an outfit, then pair it with generative fill for next level precision. All right, now that we've updated the outfit, let's take a basic logo and create brand ready visuals with it. Wait, what? So I've got the Photoshop logo open here, just a flat graphic on a white background. I'll hit Command A to select the whole thing, then generative fill and choose Nano Banana again. Now in the prompt box, I'll describe the look I want. Something like Photoshop logo printed on a matte white ceramic mug, soft studio lighting, realistic reflections. Hit generate and boom. Instantly it wraps the logo onto a photoreal mug that looks just like this. How crazy is that? It even adds subtle highlights, shadows and reflections that make it look genuinely 3D. Now, if it looks too smooth or fake, just rerun the prompt with a few tweaks. Things like slight imperfections, natural lighting, realistic surface texture all work really well. Or you can take a more classic approach and just add a subtle grain texture overlay like we did earlier. You can do this with any logo or design, mugs, bottles, shirts, packaging, and it saves hours compared to building mockups manually. All right, now that we've got a polished shot, let's try something even more creative. Combining multiple items into a single lifestyle photo. I've got this collage here. Hat, shirt, pants, sneakers, sunglasses, yada, 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 all shot on white. Now what's really cool is how we can turn this simple product collage into realistic showcase images of the clothing. I'll just hit Command A to select everything, go to Generative Fill and choose Nano Banana. Then I'll type a detailed prompt, hit Generate and watch what happens. Photoshop rebuilds the entire scene lighting, perspective, pose, and blends every item naturally into a single cohesive image. This is one of the fastest ways to go from concept board to full lifestyle image, so you can explore ideas and concepts faster than ever. All right, now that we've built our entire scene, let's wrap this up with something a little more subtle, but still super powerful, removing reflections. This photo is of my dad's classic car, but I shot it through a dirty window and a screen, and there's this weird orange light reflection sitting right across the middle of the frame that's completely ruining the shot. Now it's a beautiful shot, just buried under all that junk. So first I'll hit Command A to select everything since the screen essentially covers the entire frame. Then run Generative Fill and switch over to Flux Context Pro. Now Flux Context Pro is perfect for technical fixes like this. It understands light and texture better, so it cleans the area without flattening the image. In the prompt, I'll keep it simple. Hit Generate and instantly it clears everything up. The car's chrome pops, the paint looks clean, and that ugly orange light reflection is completely gone. See ya. For enhancements like this one, I like to finish with a subtle sharpen, just enough to add a touch of crispiness. The end result feels like the photo I meant to take. Clean, cinematic, and true to the original moment. And that's what makes this such a perfect closer. Not flashy, just AI tools and techniques that enhance my workflows. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.